important skills that children develop in primary school geometry are using a grid reference system to describe locations and describing routes using landmarks and directional language. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some activities you can use to teach these skills at home or in the classroom and any resources discussed in the video, you can download from the links below. First, let's talk quickly about how to read coordinates. To start off, the horizontal line is the X axis and the vertical line is the Y axis. When given a set of coordinates, for example, two, one, the first number is how far along the X axis you go and the second number is how far up the Y axis you go. Following these directions should lead you to the correct point on a graph. To remember which is which, you can try using a mnemonic device. For example, some people say across and up because first you go across the x-axis and then you go up the y-axis. There are plenty of variations for this, like over and up, through the hall and up the stairs, into the building and up the elevator, so on and so forth. When you find the correct point, you can make a mark on your graph or record it. Now, as promised, here are some activities you can do with learners to help teach these skills. Themed around animals in a zoo, these illustrated worksheets ask your class to identify the grid coordinates of various animals. The three differentiated worksheets let children practice reading coordinates as well as writing them, with the most difficult version offering your class the opportunity to write the coordinates themselves. You can also use these challenge cards for practice finding points on the graph, where the animals are and writing down the coordinates. Children can also learn about grid referencing by playing this battleship game. They will need to pay close attention and make sure they're marking the right places if they want to sink their opponent's battleships. There are even full lesson packs for children in year five. The first one of this set includes a detailed lesson plan, slideshow presentation, differentiated worksheets, and a card game. Like all Twinkle Planet lessons, they've been designed by teachers. They also align with the Year 5 Australian Mathematics curriculum. Of course, there are plenty more resources on the Twinkle website to help children learn and nurture these skills, so make sure you have a browse around if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.